possible are two different things. Look, if it was easy, everybody would do it. So do me a huge favor. Stop looking for the easy road, because there is not. There's no easy road. Listen to me, if it was easy, everybody would do it, but it's not impossible. Nothing is impossible. The only thing that's impossible is what you make impossible. So I need you to understand that it's not going to be an easy road. Don't keep calling me and telling me you're going to get on the Dean's list. Do me a favor. Don't tell me you're going to be on the honor roll. Shut up. Go to work and show me. Show me what you got. Show me. I'm telling you, some of y'all, you lying to yourself. You say you want to be great. You say you want to get to the next level. But listen to me very closely. You talk too much. Shut up. Get in the lab. And let's go to work. Motivation is bullshit. Motivation doesn't get anything done. Motivation gets you going. Discipline, commitment, strong habits is what gets things done. Motivation is very ungrounded. Right? It's, very, it's all up here. Whoa, I feel good. When it comes time, time to bring it into practice, you cannot rely on it. Motivation is just a feeling. Grounded action is what gets things done. I value myself enough to give 120%, but don't do it. That's the problem with some of you. You always want to blame other people. You always want to, you want to hold other people to the fire, but you're not holding yourself to the fire. You just said you give a 50%. You owe you an explanation. You owe you an explanation. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, why are you only giving 50%? What's wrong with you? You need to put yourself on punishment. You need to tell you no more TV, no more snacks, no more desserts, no more, no, we working out now. No, no more alcohol, not right now. Not, no, I can't handle it right now. You need to tell you that you owe you something. You already in pain, you already hurt. Get a reward from it. Don't go to sleep until you succeed. Listen to me. I'm here to tell you today that you can come here, you can jump up, you can do flip, you can be excited when we give away money. But listen to me, you'll never be successful if I don't have to give you a dime to do what you do. Say all in! All in! All in! All in! By any means necessary, let's go! But people who are running toward their dreams' life has a special kind of meaning. And here's what I will share with you. That in the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur, incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain, a lot of setbacks, a lot of defeat. But in the process of doing that, you will discover some things about yourself that you don't know right now. What you will realize is that you have greatness within you. What you'll realize is that you're more powerful than you can ever begin to imagine. What you will realize is that you are greater than your circumstances, that you don't have to go through life being a victim. So you got to be a huge favor. Listen to me, after today, after today, you need to know exactly what's gonna happen on Monday. You need to know exactly what you need to do on Tuesday. You need to know exactly what you're gonna do on Wednesday. You need to know exactly what you're gonna do on Thursday. And I'm not suggesting that you have to work 24 hours. I'm not suggesting that. But I am suggesting and strategize your play if you're gonna get to the next level. You never look at yourself in the mirror and say, you let you die. Until you get to that point, you let you die. You never, you're not brave enough. You want to put it on somebody else. The reason why I'm not successful is because of my boss. Have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror and said, I'm not getting up on time. I'm not going to work on time. I'm not putting in 120% when I'm at work. I let me down. Post you in order for you to grow stronger. Even if you fail and fail and fail, and fail you get knocked in your fucking face 10 times. You're not a failure until you quit. become a machine. You don't think about whether you're going to write in your journal or not. You do it because you already made that commitment. Every single day, no matter what, it does not matter if both of your hands were cut off and you have to use your freaking mouth or the pen and write in your journal. You write in your freaking journal every single day. You don't think about it. 
when you have built a habit, it's ingrained in your nervous system in such a way that the brain doesn't even have to consider whether or not it'll get done. It just gets done because you committed. I can't emphasize this enough how important it is for you to commit to small things on a daily basis because that is what transforms you. It's those tiny little actions. It's not the grand visions. It's the tiny actions that move towards the worthy ideal. And for those of you who are about to make a commitment that you'll never ever give 60%, you'll never ever give 70%, you'll never ever give 80%, from this day forward, you give it 120%. On three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. important to listen to everyone, as many people as you can, and get their input, but then finally you have to make your own decision about what you're going to do, and that's it. That's what you feel, and that's it. And that, that's the most important thing, because it's you, you've done it, it's your thing. It's not anybody else's, it's your choice. I think what people should be focusing on is, I have 24 hours. Like Oprah only has 24, Bill Gates only has 24, like Warren Buffett only has 24 hours, and in that 24 hour period, I can either break my life or make my life. And I think, and I'm not saying you should have goals, you know, I just think that goals for people is too high on the priority list. And I think what should be on the priority list is going to bed so you can wake up the next day and you can grind it out. And I'm just a dude that believes you reap what you sow. So if you're grinding on Monday, grinding on Tuesday, grinding on Wednesday, if you're grinding six, seven days a week for, for a span of five or six years, something's got to come out of that. And ladies and gentlemen, I started working on my dream. And most people don't work on their dreams. Why? For many years, I did. One is because of fear, the fear of failure. What if things don't work out? And the fear of success, what if they do and I can't handle it? The other thing is that most people, ladies and gentlemen, they get comfortable. They stop growing, they stop working on themselves, they stop stretching, they stop pushing themselves, and they end up becoming very cynical about life. And they throw in the towel on themselves, and on their families, and on their dreams. Find your vision and follow it. A goal, where, where do we go? Because you can have the best ship in the world. You can have the best cruise liner, but if the captain does not know where to go, that ship will drift around the world and out there at sea and will never end up anywhere. And this is exactly the way it is in real life. If you don't have a goal, if you don't have a vision, you just drift around. You're not gonna be happy.